Okay, this tape is about uh, a new design of, let me get this right, here we go, of a um, garage door opener to exemplify an idea of accelerating motion. We got this uh, motor back here and it's connected to the garage door. Now what it's going to do is pull and eventually the garage door is going to go like this and pull all the way up and in. You know, so it's going to keep coming back here, here, and it's just going to keep winding this cord. Basically, it's just nothing but a long cord. It's going to go pull on this garage door. This is a garage door. Okay. Terrible spelling, but whatever. Okay, it looks like a U, but it's an A. Okay, here you, here you have this. To exemplify this, imagine if I was down here trying to, to pull on a rope to move an object towards me. I just kept pulling on this rope until it finally reached me. But over here, um, let's say I had a friend right here who is on some kind of moving platform. Let me see if you guys can see that. No, you can't. Anyway, I have a friend right here who's on a moving platform that while I'm pulling the rope that's attached to him, he's pulling the rope that's attached to this, so that both of these things are moving at the same time, kind of like an accordion effect. That's what I want to do right here. I want to set up another motor, say on a, like a pulley system right up here. It's got a little wheel there, it's got a little wheel there. So it stabilizes it. This motor is actually going to be pulling this distance while this motor is closing the distance between itself and the one in the middle. So while this one's pulling this one towards itself, this one is pulling the garage door towards it. So both of these objects are moving at the same time. So this one's going to be winding up that cord while this one's winding up that cord. The net effect is you're going to be able to pull that garage door open twice as fast. So that's an example of the accelerated motion thing. The, now you just got to find another way to um, now push them, push them both, push them both uh, back now when they're crimped up here to push them both out at the same time, so that you get the same effect, so that they're. Uh, being moved out the same speed they were as pulled in. So that's using uh, an advanced idea for a garage door opener. I haven't reconciled how I would get them. Once these have been pulled in, you get the garage door open twice as fast as just just using than if you were just using one motor. Uh, how do you get them back out again at the same speed? So I need you guys out there, the experts, to help me reconcile how to do that. And that's about it. Maybe these wheels would have little motors on them instead of this being right here. Well, that would still need to coil. That would still need to coil up this cord. But these little guys, I imagine, probably that's probably what it would be. While this one's letting this one out, this, this, these little wheels have motors and are moving out at the same time this one's uncoiling the garage door and it's moving back down. So that's a possible idea if you guys can work with that. Take the idea, steal it, please. Somebody, you can, you know, the first one of you guys to take this and, and use it and make an advanced garage door opener, even though I'm just using this example to show accelerated motion type concept by using more than one motor to close the distance twice as fast, you know, splitting up the distances to two pieces and both of those distances being closed at the same time and o consequently open back up at the same time instead of just waiting for one motor to coil all this length, you know, just slowly pulling it up. You have two motors working, and this thing is closing twice as fast and opening twice as fast. So, please take that. Uh, do something. If you guys can put a video up showing some uh, ideas that you have, go for it, please. Let's, let's get some advanced technology out here for all of us to use. And uh, not only that, but we have disabled keep individuals who might need this technology to uh, help out in different ways. Can this be crossed over into other areas? 
Thank you for your time.